everybody, it's Andrew Jones, and this is another art cast. This is episode 34, and I wanted to talk a little bit about Pete's Dragon. Um, this week, they well, you may or may not know that they're actually remaking Pete's Dragon um, as a live action uh, movie with a CG dragon. Um, I am a huge fan of the original Pete's Dragon. Um, I was really, uh, really big uh, as a kid for me. Um, and if you don't believe that I'm a big fan, this right here is one of my prized possessions. Um, the ceramic Elliot, I love this. Um, and <clears throat> I have not one, but two copies of the uh, soundtrack on vinyl. Um, I have my original copy from when I was a kid, and then um, I recently bought this copy because my original copy has um, some bad spots in it and skips a lot. So I wanted one that would play without that. Um, and if you have um, iTunes or Spotify, you can listen to the entire soundtrack, uh, which I encourage you to go find that. Um, but anyway, they uh, just recently came out with the first image of the dragon from the remake, and it kind of left me scratching my head, to be honest. Um, I, I didn't really know what to expect if they would have it look anything like the original dragon design, the, the 2D animated cartoon dragon. Uh, it doesn't. Um, if you uh, look in my when it comes back around to my Photoshop screen here, they're in the, the lower left, um, well, not that one. Um, but you'll, you'll see here in a minute the, um, uh, the image that they released. And it's just this big green furry thing um, that doesn't seem to have like any, like any emotion in its face. It doesn't even look like it's looking at the kid. So I'm, I'm just really confused by it. So I, when I when I saw the the teaser trailer, um, I, th I still kind of initially on board with a remake because you know it's been a long time and we have we have the technology to make a really cool looking dragon um, and still be sort of true to um, the, the original. Maybe not exactly the original story, but maybe the, the original feel of it. I wouldn't expect them to do a musical now. <clears throat> but still, um, I thought it would look better than this. I wasn't expecting it to be furry. Um, but yeah, so I mean, my, my, first, uh, my first thought about this was, you know, it, it, this looks like they, they took Sully from Monsters, Inc., painted him green and put wings on him. Um, and now I, I couldn't get that out of my head. So I just had to draw this piece. So long story short, that's what you're watching right now. Um, I, this is, um, this is Photoshop. This is a, a eight by 10, <clears throat> 300 DPI drawing. Um, initially going in here with, with red pencil um, and you might notice from the menus coming up in Photoshop that I'm using a lot of Kyle Webster's brushes, uh, including this pencil. Um, they're, they're really good. I suggest you check those out. Um, <clears throat> so just kind of roughing in the, uh, the overall shape, um, getting the, the face in. Um, this is a, uh, going on another layer, <clears throat> putting in all these, these extra little hairs coming out. Um, and then going right into the, the inking phase. Um, I think this, uh, is, uh, this anchor is still a, a brush by Ray Frendon. I <clears throat> really like these brushes. Um, I use his brushes in, in Manga Studio as well. Uh, and they're really good. Um, uh, Kyle's brushes, um, inking brushes are really good also. Um, I just haven't had enough chance to, to really spend a lot of time with them uh and i wanted to to do this fairly quickly so i didn't want to um try out a whole bunch of brushes and i do normally do my inking in in manga studio but again this was something i just wanted to get out of my system before i'm i moved on to something else 
because I couldn't stop thinking about how bad that uh, that dragon looks. Somebody had also posted, I think um, I'd seen on Twitter or Facebook or something, um, where he looks remarkably like Battle Cat from the <laughs> He-Man cartoons. Um, and the more I look at it, the more I I can see that as well. <clears throat> So most of the rest of this video is just going to be watching me um, ink this character. The idea here is that um, Sully has has painted himself green and attached a pair of wings to himself and is uh, auditioning for the part of the new Elliot, the dragon. Uh, that's the joke anyway. I don't know if it'll work, but uh, I had to get the idea out of my head. Who knows, maybe I'll even turn this into a t-shirt at some point. I don't know. So if you've noticed um, and you've been um, subscribed to my YouTube channel for a while, um, and by the way, thank you. Um, the subscriber count is over 600 now, and I'm just blown away by that. Um, so thank you to everybody who's subscribed uh, to the channel. <clears throat> and that said, I'm I'm sorry that I haven't posted much. Um, in fact, I just posted one uh, a few days ago, but before that, it was October, which um, as of right now was like six months ago. I tend to get sort of burnt out by Inktober, um, where I do a, a inked drawing every day, and I I actually recorded every single one of those, all 31 Inktobers, um, and I think I've released six five or six, maybe seven uh, videos from that. I'm not going to release them all because it's a lot of work and they would all, they would start feeling fairly redundant, I think. Um, I mean, I guess if enough people wanted them, um, I even thought about doing something um, super crazy, like taking all 31 Inktober videos and making them available as a, as a DVD. Um, that would be a ton of work. I'd, I'd almost have to do like a pre-order or a Kickstarter or something for that because it would be a, a huge amount of work to put all that together um, and then not sell any. So I definitely don't want to set myself up for that. But um, <clears throat> definitely want to get back on the horse with the videos. Um, after I haven't done any for a while, I kind of miss it. Um, <clears throat> And there's there's a ton of stuff that I want to do. Um, it, right, right now, what you're looking at is is a digital piece, but I've been doing a lot of traditional stuff uh, since October. And um, in fact, I just finished my first full size hand drawn poster, movie poster. Um, and I'll be uh, I did not record that, um, but I am going to write a really big blog article about it because I documented the whole process um, with photos and and how I did it, and um, I did it on full size uh, illustration board and gessoed it and did all that, and um, it was it was a big deal for me, and I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I definitely want to document that, although it it won't be with video. Um, I have some other ideas <clears throat> for some videos I want to do, um, and not just, you know, time lapse or you know watching me paint or something like that. Um, but some that are going to be more like tips and tricks. I'm going to do another studio tour. Um, right now, as you can see, my uh, my studio office whatever is kind of in a shambles at this point. Um, I'm just building this new tabletop. Uh, that's going to help with some storage issues and um, help me because I've, I've been buying a lot of traditional uh, materials lately, more paper. Um, I'm starting to get um, into acrylic painting. <clears throat> Plus, I want to do more airbrush stuff, and I just didn't have enough room, enough surface space uh, to do a lot of that. So um, there will be another tour um, of my studio because uh, the one I have up there is like a year and a half old and it's been viewed an insane amount of times. Um, I just can't even get my head around how many times that's been viewed. Um, I love watching, you know, looking at other artist studios and how they work and how they're set up and um, apparently y'all do too. Um, so here, um, <clears throat> the, the bulk of the inking is done. I just go back in on another layer and put in some of the darker 
blacks uh, for darker shadows. And doing it on another layer, I can I can be a little bit more bold and and not worry if something didn't work or um, obscures the wrong thing or whatever. I can just go back in and erase it. Um, so even there, like in in the you know under his chin, uh, I was able to go back in and erase out some places so some of the fur still has some definition. So right now, with traditional art, um, a lot of what I want to focus on is, uh, you know, things like movie art, um, and it, that could be fan art, scenes from movies. Um, uh, I've got a couple commissions that are coming up. Um, I'm going to do a commission for somebody um, that is a, it's going to be a hand-drawn, hand-painted Doctor Who poster, um, so I'm excited about that, and um, somebody else uh, that I work with asked me to do a painting from, uh, the movie, what about Bob? Um, which I love, I love that movie. Um, and she wanted a specific scene and it's going to be printed. Um, she has a case for her phone. That's clear that you can print out something and put it underneath. So, uh, you can kind of make your own phone skin. Um, so I'm going to be painting, uh, uh, probably doing a digital painting, um, of a scene from What About Bob as a phone skin. So that'll be fun. Um, and hopefully I, I will be documenting uh, the process on all that stuff um, to be in uh, future videos. Uh, what I'm doing now um, on Sully is just flatting, um, which is basically just taking one solid color. Um, they might You might refer to that as local color sometimes. Um, just going in and filling in because I can't just do a bucket fill on this because there's so many openings in the hair <clears throat> that it would just fill the entire page. So I've got to close up these gaps. Um, and so he's mostly the same color. So I just go in and go around all the edges and then I can fill in the middle like this with a solid color. And that's kind of the base that I can work with. And I can lock down that shape and paint right on top of it and not go out of the lines, so to speak. I just thought it would be funny if he would like put on a pair of fake wings that looked like um, Elliot's wings from the, the original movie. And the pink kind of does go with his fur, which was a happy accident. I thought this was going to be like a really quick um, thing that I could bang out in a couple hours. It took a while. Um, even speeding this up to 600%, it's still going to be like 20 minutes. Um, I don't know. I tend to noodle around with things a little bit too long. Um, I don't think that Sully didn't really take <clears throat> too long, but some of the background elements I, I think I just messed around with too long. But anyway, I'm happy with it for just a dumb little, you know, maybe, I guess I was kind of hoping maybe once I get this posted, um, maybe it'll, uh, it'll get shared a lot and, and, uh, you know, might be, you know, a meme of some sort. Um, if nothing else, drive a little bit of traffic back to my site. Um, and if you haven't seen my website or been to it lately, um, it's atlantajones.com, which is, Atlanta Jones is kind of the uh, the name that I, I go by on a lot of my sites and social media, um, mostly because my name is Andrew Jones. Um, as common as that is, I might as well be named John Smith. So um, it's really hard to find usernames uh, and domain names with with my name on it so I have to come up with something so I'm generally Atlanta Jones everywhere um, but I I just recently totally redesigned and, and rebuilt my uh, my website from scratch um, just because I felt like it it was not really showcasing my art uh, front and center um, and it wasn't completely obvious that I do commissions um, I mean, I'm generally if, if you have something that you want a commission of um, and it's something that I think would be fun and um, 
you know, I, I probably underprice everything, but, you know, as long as I, I get, you know, a, a fair amount, um, I'd love to do it. So, um, if you see anything in these videos or in my portfolio that you'd like something similar, um, you know, by all means, send me an email, um, send me, fill out the form on my website and, um, we'll see what we can do. Trying to uh, get the the color right, um, get this green color based on the photo of the the new dragon. Um, and if you saw me go in there and apply that filter, I do that sometimes, where I need to pick some some colors out of a photo, but the color picker isn't really working all that great. <clears throat> I'll go in and apply one of those filters that basically breaks the photo down into its primary colors, and then I just pick colors from that. Um, it's still not always perfect, but it's it gets you a lot further. So just kind of picking a green there, and I, I had to lighten it up a bit. Um, I don't know if, if having the paint can there is too kind of on the nose for the joke, but whatever. And I wasn't even sure if I should just like paint him green or paint him his normal color and make it look like he just kind of um, sloppily painted himself. I went with the, the latter. I would have loved to have had time to actually paint this. Um, but again, um, there's so many things kind of backed up on my plate that I, I, I need to take care of. Um, but sometimes you just get something stuck in your, stuck in your craw, so to speak. And, uh, I got this one stuck and I had to do something. Even though I haven't done a lot of videos lately, some of the pieces I have done, um, are still up for sale on my website. Um, I did uh, I did a piece from the movie Ten Cloverfield Lane, um, featuring uh, John Goodman's character from that. Um, I still have not seen the movie, and it's driving me nuts. I really want to see it, um, but uh, I like how that piece came out. Uh, it was just pencil on gray paper. Um, what else? I did a uh, I did a, a kind of a cool um, airbrushed Indiana Jones piece. Um, it's really long and, and narrow, and it's a uh, it's that scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark where they're they're digging in the desert and the sun's going down, and you just see the silhouette of of Indiana Jones. Um, really like that piece. Um, did it um, just pencil and airbrush. Really happy with how it came out, but uh, that's up in the store right now. Just applying a, a very generic color to this uh, to this sign again throwing that sign in there is kind of on the nose um, a little bit again for the joke but subtlety is is probably not my my strong suit I like the logo for the new movie if that means anything but I saw that initial teaser trailer and even like, um, even the kid, uh, I don't know. It's like the thing made it feel like it was the jungle book. Cause it's this like this wild feral kid living in the woods, um, with a, with a dragon, furry dragon. I don't know. It's it just feels super weird. Here I'm using um, Kyle Webster's spatter brushes um, just to put in a, a little bit more uh, paint spatter. I really hope I'm wrong about the the remake, but it feels really feels really not good at this point. Um, but you know, I'm I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, they're remaking Pete's Dragon, and if it's terrible, it's going to ruin my childhood and blah blah blah. I don't, with the exception of 
uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, which did that won't get me started. Um, I, I don't I don't really see how you know a bad remake of something that I love you know has any effect on the original. Um, I have it on DVD and. Um, uh, in fact, I think I'm I'm gonna throw it in there soon. Um, my daughter saw it once and she really liked it, and uh, so I'm gonna I think we're gonna watch that again pretty soon. But a new one being terrible isn't gonna gonna ruin the original for me. So anyway, here's the finished piece. Um, I might offer prints, put it on a shirt. Who knows? Depends on what the action is. Uh, but there'll be more videos coming soon. Thanks, guys.